Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Eska and I am super excited to show you a couple of wine glass tutorials. Super fun and super easy. And please do not judge me for my football. It is definitely wonky. But here soon, you're not going to see it. As you can see that I've taped off the top and the bottom and I'm going to paint this wine glass a magenta from Rust-Oleum. I'm going to use Fusion Metallic Fine from AB Designs. It's an absolute stunner color. So my method of glitter application is using fresh spray paints. As you can see, the stem has got an overspray, but not to worry. We can clean that with acetone later. But while my paint is still nice and fresh, I'm going to go ahead and apply my glitter. And if for any reason you feel like you need a second coat of glitter, allow this to dry for about 30 minutes. Then you can use a clear seal from Rust-Oleum, spray the wine glass and or tumbler again, and go ahead with another glitter application. But seeing that my glitter matches my paint perfectly, I did not need a second coat of glitter. I still waited 30 minutes and then I sealed the entire wine glass with the clear rust-oleum allowed that to dry for a good 30 minutes before applying the epoxy coat here i'm just making sure i have a solid full coverage over the wine glass So as you can see with these two, I've already taped them off a second time and I have already applied a quick set from Glitter Craze epoxy coat on these wine glasses. Now I just wanted to show you how I turn them on the turner and I'm going to apply the final coat of epoxy. So you use whatever your favorite coat of epoxy is for your final coat. Prior to that, you could decal them. I chose not to because I wanted to keep these classy and very simple. Once you are satisfied with your epoxy coat over your wine glasses, wait about 15 to 20 minutes and then remove the tape from the top and the bottom. When applying this epoxy coat, make sure you get in the seal. As you can see, there's a slight gap in between the glitter and the painter's tape. You really want to make sure you get in there and have a nice seal on your wine glass. As with tumblers as well, you're going to want to make sure you use your torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. Once you've pulled the tape, allow these to continue to turn overnight until fully dry. Here we are and we are now ready to place our rhinestones. As you can see, this is a flawless finish. Absolutely beautiful, both of these colors. This gold is a brand new Beach Please launched from AB Designs just this past week. You guys wanna get over there and check that out. This is Fusion, which is a metallic fine. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color. The rhinestones on this is just amazing. Simple, fun, easy gift as well. As you can see, I also got the stem nice and cleaned up too. I use acetone and a Mr. Clean Eraser cleans right up. As you can see here at the rim, I did not epoxy all the way to the top. 
So now I'm going to show you the process of the rhinestones. It's very, very simple. I use E6000 glue and rhinestones, which you can use Saworskis, but for this project, I did not. All links will be down in the description for you for where you can get all of these products. As you can see, I no longer have the tip to the E6000 glue. It was giving me troubles. So we're just very carefully gonna make the finest line that we can. We're gonna apply a little bit of the E6000 and then the rhinestones and continue the process until the cup is completely completed. Keep in mind that the E6000 glue does apply clear. It also dries clear. So not to be concerned when you place the rhinestone that the glue tends to spread out from underneath. It's actually a plus because it's giving us a much better application and it'll adhere very well to the tumbler. Blessing with the rhinestones on a wine glass, you can literally look from the inside out and gauge your line as straight as possible. Once you've placed all your rhinestones, if you really wanted to add a monogram or a name, you absolutely could do so. You do not have to use epoxy to seal in that vinyl if you use 651, which is a permanent vinyl. Surely these wine glasses aren't used daily, and if they are, I'm sure that they're going to be hand washing as they should be, and these cups are going to last a long time. These are the simplest, cutest little things. You can have them for party favors or gifts that you wanna give, and you can pick up wine glasses all day at the dollar store. This can be a very inexpensive thing. This rhinestone kit I did purchase off of Amazon as well. I'm gonna use size number three for around the stem. They're very tiny. And we're basically going to do the exact same thing around the stem as we did at the top. I also fast forward this for you as well. I hope you stand by for the photo montage at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. I want to thank each and every one of you for being a subscriber and watching my video.